Hi, my name is Leslie Abramson. I was the first female president of your Delta Chamber of Commerce and a longtime friend of Doug Husband. Today, I have other friends of Doug's here. Well, I think they were friends. Yeah. I have Beth Johnson and Mike Owen. And we're here today to give you a little insight on how we knew Doug throughout the years. Doug, we're here to say congratulations and we're, we're so proud to be here and part of this tonight. I remember things like Doug being in the community arm wrestling for the wheelball race or when he's raising money to for a building, walking in the gymnastics. Doug was involved in the community, whatever we were doing and he was involved. He loves his Delta. Doug, you and I served for seven years on council as alderman back in the day. And what I loved about serving with you is you fought the good fight for your side, which was the opposite of my side. Um, but then you could be a friend and a mentor when we were not battling it out at the council table. I learned a number of years later, when you stood up and said, I'm a fourth generation Delton, you brought a value to the table that nobody else could have. You really brought to the table what the people of Delta, the ones who've been here forever and whose families have been for here forever, what they valued here, and those values have helped to continue to make Delta what it is today. Congratulations, Doug, on joining the fraternity of Citizens of the Year. And I just wanted to say that I really appreciated your mentoring and your help when I was a Chamber President at the Chamber of Commerce. Congratulations, Doug, well deserved. Hello, I'm Doug Husband. I like to refer to myself as a fourth generation Delta resident. I have Spent some time on council from 1979 to 1990. I was mayor in 1987, very, cl very close election race with my friend Beth Johnson. And uh, as my wife says, I was unelected in 1990 as a result of the Spedifor hearings. And I've done a lot of volunteer work in this community. And uh, I've enjoyed volunteerism as, as much as any of the activities that I've had an opportunity to be involved in. I guess I'm humble and proud of the fact that, uh, that I am receiving recognition as, as Citizen of the Year. I like to think that what I've learned about volunteerism in the community comes from my own family. And like most volunteers in this community, we don't do it for recognition. We actually do it because we enjoy volunteerism and that's been part of my life.